So you've been in this situation before. You hear a great idea. You're like, okay, that sounds really good. The logic makes sense behind it. But I'm not going to put in 100 hours a week to do this and then not have it have any type of ROI, return on investment. So here is the bare minimum, regardless of what software you use. If you're a dog trainer, that you should have something to send people to, get some information, have them apply, and then uh, send them on their way. So here's the bare minimum. If you have been watching these videos, which if you haven't caught up to all the videos for the challenge, definitely go watch those. If you are a dog trainer and you're thinking that this is a good idea for you, you should do it, but you don't want to put all of your energy into it, this is what you need. Step one, the first thing you need is a page where people can go to and learn who you are, what you do, and how they can work with you. That is the bare minimum, okay? Yes, you kind of need a logo and you need an info uh, email up at the top, but then you need a catchy headline. Watch this video to learn how to end your dog's aggression without a trip to the hospital. And then in that video, you might share just one or two not tips or tricks, but tactics to keep people safe if they're dealing with an aggressive dog in the meantime while they apply and meet with you, right? That's the beauty of it. So in that video, you're gonna say, hey, you should be having a muzzle on your dog. You should manage as many behaviors as you can, but more importantly, don't wait to get this problem fixed because it's going to get worse later on. Click the button below, apply to work with me, and let's get this fixed before it becomes a bigger issue. That would be fantastic. And this is bare minimum, there's a video that you could change out as your marketing message changes, or you find out maybe saying, learn how to end your dog's aggression without a trip to the hospital, people aren't taking to. And it's just not a good uh, market to message match. It's just not working. So once you have that and it's, it's solid, where they need to go is fill out the full application. So the next page would just say, thank you for your interest in working with us to make sure it's a right fit. We just need you to answer a few more questions. Fill out the form to apply for training. And this gives you that one up, that that uh, elevated status of authority to say, hey, what you're showing me, what you're asking me to do is accept you into my personal time and space, which changes the dynamic of selling as a, a coach and as a dog trainer. So you might ask things like where they are, what problems they're dealing with, what have they tried, have they done training before, is this their first dog or their 10th dog, right, those types of things. Is the dog big, small, fat, you know, whatever it is. Does a dog have health issues? These are things that you want to know before you call them up and saying, hey, I can fix your dog. Because what if those situations you aren't ready to fix yet? Maybe you don't have the skill set. Maybe it's outside of what you'd rather do. Right? You don't want to work with small dogs that are aggressive. You'd want to work with big dogs that are aggressive. This helps you do that and wean out the clientele that you don't want to work with necessarily. Someone else will work with them and do great. You would just be happier and more productive working with a certain group of people. So that's what this does for you. Then you just need a place to send them to. So right after they click submit, they're taken to this last page. It says your application has been submitted and is in review. Thank you for applying. Make sure you keep an eye on your inbox for your submission uh, confirmation as well, as some, and it has some next steps. So there you're telling them, hey, I just sent you an email, go find it. Because if you send them an email and they don't see it or they don't find it, there's no way for you to contact them again. And it's a lost opportunity. Right? You just spent all this time and energy on marketing to get them here. You want to keep them in your system. So make sure that your emails are not going to their spam. And then it says, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out and, uh, you know, however you need to. But this is our email. Uh, while you wait to hear back from us, check out our YouTube channel. So I want to send them somewhere where they can start to get uh, some type of benefit. It doesn't have to be YouTube. It could be a blog post that specifically talks about the safety with aggressive dogs. It could be... Um, a community where you get people who have aggressive dogs together and you talk about things. But those are the three things you need. You need a place to send people to where they can learn about who you are, what you do, and how they can work with you. And then you need a second page, which is a form. So you kind of need to write out your form. What do you need to know from people? And then lastly, you need somewhere to send them to. This is That is the bridge that you're taking them across from where they are now getting them on their bridge, you're walking them through the sales process and everything that they need to know in order to work with you. And then saying, hey, I'm gonna come back to you, go do this for a little bit, here's your homework, and I'll let you know if it's a good idea for us to work together or not. Bare minimum for a dog trainer, if you're gonna be using a funnel, if you wanna test out uh, this for yourself, you've heard of it in the past, you're like, I just don't want to go into it, spend all this time doing it and not have it work. Test this out first. Is it gonna be as great as having a full-fledged funnel? No, 
but it will show you just how powerful they are with that bare minimum. If you want me to build out the funnel for you, all you need to do is go to caninebusinessbuilders.com and apply for me to work with you. There you go. You'll find a funnel and see what it looks like as you go through the process. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you tune in for tomorrow's video. And if you haven't checked out yesterday's video, hit the subscribe button for more and I'll see you tomorrow.